Hans Robenheimer is a 28-year-old musician living in Cape Town, South Africa. He grew up in a Christian home, but only began his own relationship with God at 22. I literally just opened this devotional book and started reading some of the pieces and I remember sitting on my bed and just at one moment it, I just realized that it was something about heaven. I realized that wow, this actually isn't all this life. There's actually, there is, there is more to it. After becoming a Christian, Hans's music was taken to a whole new level. It's amazing God started molding me because I think there was a lot of worldly kind of want to be a rock star stuff that he really wanted to burn away. So. He put me in this home group where I would just sit and sometimes just strum the same three chords for, you know, half an hour and wanted to show show what I had, but, you know, God just kept me, kept me in that place and really, I think that's really where he molded me. Hans's songs are more than just music. They are a reflection of his love for God. I mean, I spend a lot of time in the Word and a lot of it's just, you know, like the Word is so full of life and I think most of all my songs inspired by that life, so I'd probably say most of it is yeah, from the word. After a year of hard work, Hans is about to release his second album, Just Believe. Yeah, my brand new album, Just Believe, is we're about to release it and it's sort of a culmination of, I think, the last couple of years, songs, and God's really inspired it from, from the word go. The first song I started recording used to be a ballad on, on just me on piano and it, just, it was one of the songs I wrote just in an amazing uh, intimate time with God and I really felt it carried something special and I definitely wanted to put it on there. But as I started recording it wasn't really going anywhere and it wasn't, it didn't sound quite like what I wanted the album to sound like as, as a whole. So I came to a point where I just submitted it to God and I said I really believe the song to be on there so it doesn't matter how it comes out I'm gonna keep it on there and I think that's yes at that point God just came in and really creative juices started flowing and something happened to the song and I mean now it's something completely different